Always keep your three points of contact, especially when you're doing yoga 30 feet in the air, surrounded by sharp razor blades that spin at incredibly high rates of speed. That doesn't sound very good. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on up there. The only way to do, find out is climb up there and figure it out, I guess. guys up there with me this is the fun part hopefully that blade doesn't turn anymore don't you do it don't you do it Ow. I swear, every time I come up here this is a tight fit I don't know how I'm gonna get down <laughs> there we go made it the wooden meals make me nervous I'm gonna stick you guys out here you guys don't fall off on me now I'm gonna try to pop this top off See what's wrong with this old girl. Why are you so clanky? Don't forget, always put your bolt, screw it down here somewhere so it won't fall off. I don't know if you saw the last video of me uh, putting some oil, checking the oil on a windmill. That was actually this windmill, and that was last year. There we go. Easy as it. Sneak a peek here, what we got going on. What are you doing making so much racket? Oil still okay. Give her a little turn here. See that? So that's the gear coming right off the windmill. I, I was thinking maybe that was, this here was a little loose or something was wrong there. Why are you making so much racket? So I'm pivoting this whole windmill right now. So the blade's actually into the wind. The brake isn't that great on this one. So let's see what we can get here. Maybe it's hitting at the top. No, it's not hitting the top. So this is what's inside of windmill when they're running. Right there is going to be where my clink comes from. Right there. So when it hits the top, dead center, and it switches over is where that big clink's coming from. Watch, we'll see if we can get to it. Right, watch, watch, watch right there. Boom. She's just getting a little clanky. <laughs> Darn it. So that's telling me that this old windmill here has probably only got another couple years in it. I don't know if you can see right where that uh, key is there that's, hold that's holding that one pin in. Sorry guys, I had point for you, but I'm holding the blade out of the wind and I'm trying to keep this thing steady so you can see it. But if you look, there, there is a space right there where that key, that silver key is running through. Um, it's about, I'd say an eighth of an inch or so. That's where my clanking's coming from. And then I could Go ahead and swap it out of that keyhole where those are. See, there's a pin there and there's a pin there on this other side. If I wanted to, I could, let's go ahead and let the wind grab this for a second. I could, if you look again here, there's another hole right across there, there and there. I could put it in those, but it's not that worn out enough to justify doing that yet. So I may just leave it for another, for the rest of the season. Catch your, catch your next spring. Well guys, that's what causes a clank in a windmill. <laughs> oh lordy. Put the lid back on and hop down. I was kind of thinking we're gonna have a big job today, but that's not so bad. Right. Climb down off of here and try to stay in one piece, I guess. For all the spots, this thing always has to stop. It's in the worst spot ever. Always keep your three points of contact, especially when you're doing yoga 30 feet in the air, surrounded by sharp razor blades that spin at incredibly high rates of speed. I didn't fix anything, but nothing seems to be broke enough for me to fix, right? So I'm gonna go to the old adage, if it's not broke, don't fix it. 
Now watch, next week it's gonna explode into like a million pieces and I'm gonna have to buy a whole new windmill. <laughs> Let's turn this sucker back on. I release you. Now you can turn, straighten out. So the wind's catching that tail and it's pointing it in the wind. Now she should start turning. That's how you fix a windmill by doing nothing except getting your hands dirty.